ride, but uh, normally in the past, Don Schumacher's always said he raised his hands up. Caps up in smoke. Come on. What are you saying? And he went four flat, 402, 401, 402, and then he smokes the tires against his teammate. He leads the championship funny car battle by 23 over John Force. Now I want to point something out here. Everybody else here has taken the, the left-hand lane that has lane choice in funny car. Guess who has lane choice in funny car? TJ has problems. Matt Hagen wins the semifinals. Matt Hagen is the 2014 funny car champion. We're announcing Chevrolet is our new manufacturer. Especially that Chevrolet SS Connect. Yeah, I'm going back to my room. I heard Hagen say in a meeting, you know, talking about rivalries and stuff. And he says, we say something, we get beat up on the internet. You, you can't win. That's the whole object of the internet, the good, the good cop, the bad cop, and it, and it, and it flip-flops. Uh, that's the fun of it. But, you know, he made a statement that he said, yeah, I get so mad that I want to slug that guy. And I felt that was kind of a push. Uh, uh, um, I think he says what he feels at the moment. I don't think he really wants to slug nobody. You know, I, I have every now and then got on the internet, but you read some of these comments that people to, you know, say or do or whatever, and at the end of the day, you know, to me, it doesn't change anything for me. You know, if I worry about what someone says or thinks or, you know, it gets in my way, you know what I mean? I gotta be focused on my job and what I'm capable of doing and, uh, and make it happen. Oh, it'll catch me in a moment. I, I can't believe they did that. And then you realize, no, wait a minute, they have their rights. This is America, you know what I mean? I mean, look at Hollywood over this movie, The Sniper, and over the one trying to kill the, the king of China or something. Look at all that stuff. Well, that was a little bit of a push. But the point I'm getting at is... We're a threat to Force fans. We're a threat to John Force. And that doesn't make people comfortable, you know? And they're going to have backlash. They're going to say this. They're going to say that. You know, it, it's one of those deals when we were here in Pomona, and this is John's home track here in Pomona, you know, in the fall. And we were able to beat him in the final, and the crowd went silent. That was the best noise I ever heard, you know what I mean? It was just like, wow, you know, we just we just ruined these, these folks' day. You know, we love our fans. We love their, you know, uh, coming out here supporting our sponsors. Uh, NHRA's fans are the best hands down in motorsports. DSR fans and the Matt Hagen fans, because they're pretty classy people, man. They, they, You don't see a lot of that stuff out there on the Internet. They, they really hold back. Um, you know, so I really appreciate my fans doing that, being classy, uh, saying the right stuff when it needs to be said, and, uh, and just being respectful to, to John as well. Well, as the rule book states there, you know, I mean, that's, it, it, didn't, it didn't jive, you know, with the rule book. But, you know, this is real life, and I understand that things happen, and you got to be out here doing things. Do I like it? Absolutely not. You know, Mopar and Toyota and everybody else spent time, money, and energy uh, in a year to develop a body to come out here racing. So, you know, yeah, I, I do think that is uh, a little tough as far as, you know, you cut the nose off of something and call it something different. You know, I don't know. You know, but NHRA rule says they say it's okay. This is their sandbox. We're going to play in it, and it is what it is. I didn't realize it took so long when we talked about building a brand new car. We couldn't get it done. We didn't have time. Not when this deal all went down, it wasn't gonna happen. And basically I was done. We went through all the routes. I had to go to Ford to get some approval. Can I do this? You know what I'm saying? I was a partner in the in the bodies and arrow, and they said yes. Go ahead, won't do anything to hurt you. And boy, then we went to work and we had to get GM's approval that we could make this thing look like a Chevrolet Camaro SS. We didn't know if we could. That thing went back and forth out of Indy. You wouldn't believe what we went through the pain. And then NHRA looked at the first. Well, no, that ain't exactly. Got to do this. Well, boy, it's hard to take something and redesign it from one brand to another brand. <clears throat> All I'm trying to do is stay in business here. Um, the real truth is we don't have no right to be anywhere. 
You don't have no right to be here. You got to earn that right. So, boy, then I didn't have a manufacturer. Well, if I can't do safety, I'm done. I thought they were going to fall out of the sky because I'm John Forrest. Well, it didn't work that way. It was like, Jesus. Boy, I was a humble experience. Chevrolet was uh, the only manufacturer that didn't have a top fuel team that I know of or a funny car team. So it only made sense to try to go there and it takes me back to where I came from. And hell, I didn't realize at the time, I thought they had a, a Camaro. Oh, we don't want to see John Force go anywhere. I mean, I want to race him. You know, they say to, to, to be the best, you got to beat the best. And that's what we're doing nowadays. And uh, you know, I love beating John. So I, I, you know, everybody says, oh, John, you're getting old or something like that. You need to retire, you know, that kind of stuff. And, and I don't want to see him go nowhere because I love racing him. I love racing his whole camp. I love the, the competitiveness that they, those guys have. It, John brings out the best in me. Man, I think, the, you know, talking about that, and, and obviously I've, I've been able to answer that question several times uh, during the offseason. Um, yeah, just got to look at the performance of our race car. Uh, you know, what the car was capable of doing, what we did. Uh, we were 19 and 3 uh, as far as a record uh, round wins and a countdown. We had a badass hot rod, man. And, uh, I don't, you know, I know I crawled in the race car, I did my job, and, and the rest of it took care of itself, you know. So uh, for me, you know, nobody came over and said, you know, do this or do that. You know, just go race your race car. And that's what we did, and that's, that's why we won the championship. Well, there was an, a person on the in the whole pit area that thought that wasn't going to happen. You know, force, uh, you know, force cheats. Uh, he manipulates the outcomes of these races, and he should be ashamed of himself. What do you mean, okay, am I saying something that's not mouth? Am I saying something not true? Yeah, you're out there. Running. The only one that would ever know that is is a crew chief or a driver. So I can sit here and think what I want. Okay, I don't have any opinion. He won the championship, and I've got to get it back. And if I don't focus on that, last year's gone. I think he's a good kid. I ain't sucking up here. I got. I don't get any money from him, but he's good for the sport. Dickie Venerable's crew chief with us. The guy's brilliant. They won that championship. They took it away from me. And that's the way it is. And if I want to sit around and cry about what I think, all I'm doing is making excuses why I lost. He whipped my ass. I congratulated him just like he did me. And I'm moving on to get him now. So, hey, I'm ready to drag race. Hagen, drag your hunk of shit up there, and I'm gonna drag mine up there. And um, this old half breed, John Force. I say bring it on. You know what I mean? This is we're we're out here battling it out. It ain't no different than you know uh, a boxing match, man. We're just we're slugging it out. We got the tools that we need. We got the, the guys that we need. We have a. Uh, an opportunity to, to really rise to the top. The cream rises, man, you know, and it's just, it's one of those deals where... In the end of the day, in the end of the day, it's about winning. I ain't trying to jive talk nobody. I got all these cars so I can win. And that's all I got to say. already come up with a new slogan uh, baptism to nitro yeah i've been born again and again and again and again